That's the jam. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Infamous show. We have Mr. BMW Messiah himself, Brett Parker in the house. And then we have Full Res producing, as always. What up, what up, guys? What's up? Oh, man, doing good, doing good. All right, guys, let's let, let's kick this off. I'm not sure if y'all had a chance to watch our latest video we, we dropped a couple of days ago. But um, if you look, oh, there we go. New bike day. If you look at the title, Brett, can you see the title right there? Can you read that for me, bro? Let, it let's says. See, let's see what that says. Damn, you gotta pay for it. Mm. Gotta pay to hey, play. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, go hold ahead. on, folks. We gotta give get me that penny. commercials. <laughs> give me that penny, bro. <laughs> Ooh, I give it away. Yeah. <laughs> I know, <laughs> bro. Y'all that greedy, bro? You putting ads every second? <laughs> Y'all saw that Suzuki? That was cool. <laughs> All right, what is that? What does that title say, bro? This caught me off guard. Picking up our new motorcycle. Bro, I'm sorry. Picking up Damn. your your new motorcycle, guys. That S- says your. So why does it say your motorcycle, Brett? Well, <clears throat> we have decided here at Infamous Headquarters to we love you guys so much and all of our followers and all our supporters that we're gonna do a bike giveaway. What? Yes, sir. God. So, you heard that man right. We're going to be actually giving away this 2024 ZX6R, or like I call it, the 636, to one of you guys. And, you know, I think that's pretty, pretty damn cool, you know? Um, So, basically, how we're going to do it, guys, and you're just going to have to buy a little bit of merch, to make this work, but the beauty of it is there's only going to be 200 uh, merch items sold for this entry. So, and it's going to be this keychain right here. Boom, boom, boom. You see me? Little, 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 little keychain. The infamous key tag. Yeah. Yes, and sir. you want to let them know, Brett, how, how it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. You're, you're, Brett's our legal department, so he's going yeah. to handle <laughs> the, the legal mumbo jumbo so here. So if, if you guys are familiar with, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with the whole giveaway. There's a lot of companies out there do cars, bikes, all this and the other. The, what sets us apart from this is, like he said, there's 200 entries. This is a limited Entry giveaway, which is beneficial to you guys. We're not talking 80,000, 100,000 entries. You buy merch, you get all these entries, right? This is limited. And once we sell the 200, that's it. If you didn't get in, you missed out. So that's important. When we go live, buy you a key tag. And all you got to do, you're going to buy one key tag. This key tag will be listed on the website. It's a special key tag. It's a $100 key tag. There's only going to be 200 of these available. Once they're gone, they're gone. Once we sell them, we're going to do a drawing for the giveaway. So basically, you're telling me we have a 1 in 200 chance of buy, of winning a brand new motorcycle. Yep. That's, that is exactly what that's I'm talking about. That's if you buy one ticket. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm glad that he said that because you can buy more than one. If you want to buy all 200, but you got you a new motorcycle. But... <laughs> But yeah, you buy one, two, three, however many you want, whatever you want to do. That's it's up to you. But again, limited entries, uh, and and those are good odds. One in two hundred. If the roulette table in Vegas was one in two hundred, I'd play it all night. That's all I'm gonna say, dude. That's <laughs> actually amazing odds of winning. You know, a thirteen, fourteen thousand dollar bike. And not only that, guys, it's not only you're gonna get the bike, you're gonna get all the stock parts. We're also gonna throw an exhaust on there for you. We, you know, we're going to throw, little, we're going to do some nice little mods to it. We're going to do, you know, what Infamous does. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we're going to make it our own. We're going to make it pimped out, tricked out, you know. And then, hey, if you don't want those mods, you know, we're going to give you all the stock parts as well. Yep. You know, yep. And, and, and to me, guys, the reason why we chose this bike, it's a brand new gen. You know what I mean? It's probably, in my opinion, the best 600 class motorcycle out there. Um, you know, the fact that it has a brand new TFT dash, the fact that it comes with a quick shifter, you know, right out the box, 
Um, I love the KRT edition. I'm a huge fan of KRT. Um, this is this is really exciting, guys, because we're we're, we're kind of newer to this thing. Even though we've been on other channels and we've been doing this for 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 a little while, this is you know our own channel. We're actually, you know, it's eight months in now, and we're actually going to be able to give one of our viewers a brand new motorcycle. I think it's pretty cool. It's yeah. exciting. We went I mean, from uh, AGB. Yes, that's how we started. With pista. a helmet, with a pista, yeah, the jacket, yep. and now to a bike. Like that's a that's a huge jump. Huge. That's a milestone for <laughs> us. We we couldn't be more excited. I'm amped, and I know our followers are amped about it. We've, we've had this discussion with a few of the guys here in the area, and they're 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 stoked. So, and like you said, man, uh, this is emphasis. We're not going to give you a stock bike. We're we're going to put in some work. We're going to get some great parts, an awesome tune. And from what I'm hearing on this this generation of Kawasaki, this is going to be their most powerful 636 to date. Mm. Easy. I mean, you're you're. I can't sp speak on the number specifically, but from what I'm I'm hearing, you can get you know 125 to the wheel with no problem. You you do a few extra bolt-on mods, stacks, filters, a really good tune. I, I would I would say it would be uh it wouldn't be crazy to think you could get close to. 128, 129 out of that. So that's really good, you know, uh, weight to power ratio. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that's, 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 a, that's a little baby rocket right there. <laughs> you ain't lying. And, <laughs> and you know, when, I, when, when we picked it up, as y'all saw in the, in, in the video, <laughs> when I rode it, I was very impressed with how nimble that bike was, how good it felt, how light it was. You know, it's, um, it's 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 probably the best 600 I've, I've out of the box I, I have ever ridden. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I mean, shit, even my 2016 ZX6R, I absolutely love that bike. Very comfortable. Um, that gen needs a little tweaking and a little bit of mods, but this this new gen, you're right, right out of the box, it's uh, it's a beautiful bike and it it it's uh, it feels great. It feels real good. As you can see, if you hadn't watched it already, our boy Alex was on that back wheel real easy on a 600. So uh, On a stock it, 600. Exactly. Stock, bone stock. Yeah. So uh, that, tells, that, that says a lot right there. You know, the quick shifter, like he said, it's got a few different power modes as well. Um, uh, you've got different traction control modes, stuff like that. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty sweet little uh, bike. Quick man. shifter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I believe uh, smartphone connectivity. Okay. Yep, that's yep. that's pretty dope, man. Yeah, for and, yeah. and, and for, you know we're spoiled. You know we 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 have leader bikes and we we come off BMW with the most tech and and Honda and, and stuff like that with with, with their new uh, blade and you know keyless go and stuff like that. But man, for a six hundred to have all these goodies is 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 pretty and being able to keep the same price. Yes, like, uh, from previous years, no know? doubt. Yep, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, that's actually killer. You're, that's a valid point. I'm glad you brought mm -hmm. that up. Yeah, yeah. That that TFT dash is actually quite similar to the Z650 that I had. It was a 2020 at the time, but it it's it's a beautiful color display and mm -hmm. in high light, you can see it perfectly. You can really get into the settings, adjust stuff very easily. It's a it, it's definitely a huge step from previous Gen 636 for sure. Yeah, and that's been a uh, knock on Kawasaki for a long time. You know, their 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 gens on their on their tens and on their sixes is using the same tacky speedometer they've used for so long. Uh -huh. You know, they finally uh, in twenty uh, twenty, I believe it was, they they changed the 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 ten uh, over to you know a TFT, and then now twenty twenty four they changed the. Uh, ZX6 over. Yeah, isn't that wild? They waited till 2024 for that particular bike. A long bike. time, man. Very long. Yeah, very long. Yeah, long time. So, so yeah. Now, now that you know, we we kind of talked about this, and uh, you know, I, I want to bring up a topic, and I want to ask you some, uh, Brett. So, when you get a new bike, you know, for for like, let's say, for instance, this, or I know you recently picked up a BMW not too long ago. What are you like your first mods you want to do? to that bike what, what 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 do you do there for me um believe it or not i always like one of the first couple of quick things i do i do rear stand spools i, I gotta have my bike on stand gotcha. so those gone there outside of that i do a windscreen windscreen for me i'm a tall guy i need a taller windscreen um i guess 
you know, next you you know you're looking at exhaust systems. The, you got to get rid of that big, bulky, ugly, quiet exhaust. You really want to throw something on there that really opens that bike up and makes it a little more fun to ride. Um, what's another? Oh, frame sliders. For me personally, I, that's right there with the uh, rear 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 stand spools. Frame sliders, I like them. A lot of people are kind of iffy that, especially our track riders. But that's uh that's one that I love to do. Um, you're tall. So what's I don't uh? Think you have to worry about dropping them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but. yeah. I have dropped to six three six though once oh, <laughs> here in Houston. Did. It was on video. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a kickstand error. But yeah, no, there are. Um, those are that's kind of my first, you know, few mods, you know, that I, I that I can think of right off the top of my head, um, that are easy for people to do. You can do the the axle sliders a little bit added more protection. Um, I, I personally like to get rid of that keyed, uh, tank, uh, tank gas, gas tank. Oh, that's thing. great point. Yeah. I yeah. like a quick connect and I don't have to take my key out. I got to replace that. But, um, those are the first few that I can think of. Yeah. I what mean, are you thinking? Well, I mean, I mean, for me, I, I like how you touched on, on, on the rear spools, right? You, you yeah. got to have something to be able to lift your bike up off the ground. And yeah. I don't like the whole paddock stand where it's on the frame. It's, it's not very stable. It, exactly. It, yeah. It's a lot more stable with, with stools. Uh, uh, obviously, you know, and then the second thing I do, I always, you know, I try to protect my investment, you know, like you said, frame sliders. I'm not really a frame slider guy. I do engine covers. Yes. Case you know, covers. Case covers yes, are, yeah. are, are, are a big deal uh, for me because you always want to try to protect it. God forbid something happens. You, you know, you have something. Another thing I, I do actually, I do weighted bar ends. Oh yeah. Okay. To, to, to kind of reduce the uh, vibration I get on bikes, you know, cause sometimes when, you ride for a while, a long time, your hands will go numb. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. You know, and did, then, so do the weighted bar ends actually help that much on the vibration? That's what they're for, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're for. And that they really help me out on, on a little bit longer uh distance uh rides, you know? Yeah. Um that to me is a must. Uh like you, you touched on the windscreen. The yeah. ones you got got to, man. You gotta be able to tuck, yeah. you know, that wind coverage is so important. Oh yeah, yeah. Mirror block offs for me. Um, I don't, I don't rock with mirrors too much. So personally, I do like to. That's one of the first things that go. I get some nice mirror block off plates. Um, but for those of you guys that run mirrors, you know you can find something like Rizoma. There's even some knockoff brands that are just as good and are a lot less expensive. But uh, yeah. And you know, obviously, the 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 biggest thing is going to be you know an exhaust. Yeah. So you you, you got to let your baby breathe a little bit, right? Let you gotta, her scream. Yeah, you got you got to let her open up. You got to let that 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 power run through. Um, if you know you're not ready to drop that kind of money, uh, an alternative thing you can do that that'll kind of help is going to be like an air filter. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it'll it'll also help your bike breathe a little bit, um, and, and that's what you want to do to be able to get max power. You know. Then if, if you're willing to go a little bit deeper, maybe after the exhaust, you know, once you put an exhaust on your bike, you know, AFR has kind of changed a little bit. So you got to get a tune. Yep. You got to get an ECU flash <clears throat> or a tune or, you know, um, whichever you, 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 you prefer. But I mean, that's really my, you know, list. There's always, you know, of course you can start going into ceramic bearings. Yeah. Know, lighter wheels, you know, carbon pieces, carbon good. It's a never ending uh, uh money pit. You know, it just <laughs> depends on the how much, you know, you really want to spend um on your bike. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, if it's if it's a hobby, you enjoy spending some money, spend a little time wrenching and making it your own, making it unique. Personally, I I like to stand out from all the rest. There's tons of bikes in Houston, so I like to be a little more unique and add my little touch to it. As well as memo and and you, and, you know, I know you guys like to keep it a little a little different, so yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I I really like what you did with 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 your bike, Brett. It came out really nice Thank with, you. you know, the the biggest thing for me, obviously, was like the forge. You went with forge carbon instead of just the regular, uh, you know, gloss or matte, you know, and yeah, the twill weave and the plain yes, weave and all that. Yes, yeah. yes, and, and that that's beautiful. I love carbon. But I was about to everyone's say that. rocking with the plain carbon, so you know, got to be different. <laughs> yeah, and and it really, I was never really a fan of forge carbon, um, but the way your bike came out, it it, it really impressed me on. Uh, 
on, on, on what you did, you know, there. So do you have any more future plans for your bike? For the BMW? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting close to wrapped up, but I've got a new set of ultralight wheels that Ooh. just came in. And I just dropped a video of those uh, on the gram. And shout out to my boy Memo because that, vi that video came out sick and he taught me a lot on how to video. So I was impressed with how that came out. Big shout out to Forrest. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, shout out to that boy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the wheels, mm -hmm. I have new wheels. I've actually got a new clutch cover that's going to go on that. Um, okay. I'm going to throw what? on the Duke what? bike, the DBK clear. Hang on, hang on. Let's back it up. What no. kind of clutch cover are you doing? Uh, that one is actually the by DBK Duke bike. Okay, uh, it's, it's a clear, be clear clutch. one. Yes, yeah. And it's. Obviously, you know what color it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we also got the uh, colored pressure plate. You can't just leave the basic pressure plate in gotta there. You got to swap it. Yeah. So, you want um, blue or white? Oh, blue. blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought about black, but I was like, yeah, I'll just go blue, man. It'll look good. Yeah, blue or white would have been. Yeah. Would've, would've if they had dope. a white one, I, yeah. I might have gone I'm, that I'm route. No you. lie. Yeah. Um, and I need to do the uh, the front uh, forged carbon front air intake system and the... Um, the relocator. Um, AIT. Yeah, AIT. I got to do that. I have it. I just haven't put it on yet. Been waiting for the front air thing. But, yeah, other than that, man, that bike's coming along, and those wheels are ultralight. They do have ceramic bearings. Uh, I also purchased some high-end floating rotors, front and rear, for that oh, motorcycle nice. as well. Nice, um, They were supposed to have come with blue buttons. If you guys are familiar with the floating rotors, they've got yes. the little buttons in there. Of course. The lead time on those was a little long, so they went ahead and sent me black ones, and I'll swap those out. Those are very easy to switch. There's just a little clip on the back. Just pop it out, take the button out, put the new one in, and put the clip on. Super easy. So we're going to swap those to blue at some point. <laughs> what company uh, was that? So Factory Superbike are the ones that got me the deal on it. They got those. They're from Brake Tech, which is actually, if you're unfamiliar, mm -hmm. uh, very high-end race parts and things like that. A lot of the Superbikes run the uh, Brake Tech brakes, and these are the stainless Cobra SS stainless steel uh, brakes. They also have iron. Uh, if, if you if you mess around with the iron, great braking power. But if you're using it as kind of like a more commuter style bike, you're gonna get some rust buildup on those quickly. So you know, now, so. yeah, now you're talking about that. What do you, do you keep your sprocket stock, or do you go to a super sprocket? Do you go, you know, because the the sprocket or the are you talking about the um. The, the chain, the sprocket. Yeah, you know. so I did change the sprockets on that. I, I did a 520 conversion, so we went from 525. Nice. Main reason there is your, it's a little bit of weight reduction. Absolutely. You know? um, those bikes can handle that 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 switch. It's, there's no less tensile strength, really. I mean, it's still an incredible setup. You lose a little bit of weight. Um, I did do a slight gearing change. Uh I can't really give that away. Okay, you know, okay, but, okay. <laughs> but oh, basically, uh, these men, these boys know, but but it's kind of like a trade secret on how this goes. I will say, I use I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I use um, I use Gearing Commander a lot and kind of dialed it in. And I will do. I will say, shout out to Rando uh, HP4. He's the one that kind of helped me get that. Um, that setup. Uh, he gave me kind of that trade secret. So huge shout out to him. I really appreciate that. But um, it's kind of like stock, but there's a little backward conversion there. So, but yeah, definitely changing those those sprockets out makes a big difference. Yeah, I've had pretty good success with uh, super sprocks, right? Because it's Ooh, uh, yeah, because yeah. it's it's a mix. You, you're getting kind of both, uh, you know, stainless and titanium, mm -hmm. uh, and it really, um, you know, it, it, it it's really made well and it lasts a little bit longer. So I, I've had good, and then you know you got to go five twenty. Always. Yeah, always. gotta go five twenty. You know what brand <laughs> chain do you run, Brett? Uh, I usually rock either Did Did uh, or Ek. So right now I'm rocking the Ek 3D chains, the gold and black. Gold, baby. Yeah, the gold. Honestly, the all gold 3D chain is a, a beauty. I mean, that thing mm -hmm. just pops when you keep it clean. In fact, I went in here recently to Apex Motorsports and they had a few Ducatis with that gold chain. Oh yeah, that was the first thing that I noticed. It was just shining. It was mm -hmm. it was. So yeah, yeah, EK is uh, one of my favorites, but I will say DID is uh, it's up there. That's a solid chain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm 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 an EK guy. So mm -hmm. EK Gold, uh, yeah. been rocking it for years. You know, so that's that's definitely uh, 
one of one of my favorites. Um, what about? I mean, you talked about your windscreens. What uh, what brand windscreen do you really? Uh, um, I initially prefer? I had rocked with the Zero Gravity, but I've I've become a huge fan of I I, I think this is correct how you say is Pug mm-hmm. Pug or something like that. Yes. Right? Yeah, so that's kind of my go-to. Um, the BMW, it's they've got a little bit better options when it comes to clear, smoke, dark, and then black. They have those in betweens, and I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the whole double bubble. And the thing with Pug is they don't have that. It's just a nice upward rise, real smooth. So that's, uh, I, I go with Pug pretty much all the time now. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of like you. I, I, I like the taller. The taller, the better, man. Yep. You know what yep. I mean? Us bigger guys, we need a little bit more <laughs> resistance from that wind. Yeah, Yeah, you ain't lying. Uh, <laughs> riding a naked bike around uh, oh, a couple God. weeks ago, bro, getting destroyed by the wind makes you realize how, how much you love your uh, windscreen, mm. you know? So, yeah, man, I, I just I just kind of wanted to bring that up uh, about the bike giveaway and about uh, the first mods you do. I, I, I couldn't be more excited uh, for this, guys, to actually be able to give somebody the keys you know, to a, a, a brand new 2024 bike is is pretty cool, uh, especially this short of time in, in into this deal. Um, and then, uh, you know, changing changing gears here, Brett's actually leaving to Guatemala tomorrow, get married, bro. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's, Leave, uh, waking talk about up that. tomorrow, leave the house at 6 a.m., head to Bush Intercontinental and flying out to Guatemala. What time's your flight? 9.30. So we're leaving a little earlier. I've I've been hearing that Bush is doing a little construction over yeah. there, causing some delays. So I uh, and I I got a spot over at one of the local parking shuttle things. So okay. we're gonna get there early. But yeah, man, we are abs- we're, we're super excited. We had a uh, meeting with our film crew. Uh, I think it was Wednesday, and they really set the tone for excitement. I'll tell you that. So so let's talk about this film crew. I mean, what what is is it? I mean, what are they going to be doing? Just kind of capturing the whole wedding? Yeah, more. So the whole week, we're shooting the entire week. There's three people. Um, we've got two. Uh, we got two video shooters. Ideally, three because they can all do it very well. Uh, and then one main photo guy uh, that's that's shooting. So there's two guys and a girl. They're going with us, and the 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 work that they put out that I've seen is incredible. I mean, and the thing about them, they're called adventure weddings. This is what they do. They, oh, this is all they do. Yes, they this this is what they do is in their adventure wedding weddings because they go out and they're shooting stuff, you know, out there in the, the wild, essentially, if you want to say. Uh, they're from Oregon State up here uh, near Washington. Um, but the the owner is from originally from Houston. So I forget how we... Yeah, how did you link up with these people? That, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So there's a girl that's a friend with my fiance, April. Uh, her name's Z- Zara, and she knows him, and she kind of put us on. She said, hey, you know, she knew we were looking for a photographer and videographer for this deal, and uh, she put us on. We checked out his Instagram, and there was one video that just just did me in. I was like this guy is an artist like it was just the music choice the narration the the cinematic shots it was incredible so they're not just coming in to shoot just the wedding day they're going to be out there shooting drone footage of guatemala city the streets the volcanoes the lakes just the all naturalness of what antigua guatemala is and then they're also going to shoot us all raw just very um uh, what's it called when you're shooting just, you know, not posed? What's that? Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? You got me there. Bro. Um, <laughs> candid, candid shots. Just very, just natural, not very just acted out, you know, just us out there doing our thing, you know, having fun. And me and April, we love adventure, man. Um, we, we like being out there, the outdoors, camping, doing that thing, you know, outside of bikes. I love being just outside in general. Sure. So I, we're excited, man. I think this video and we'll, once it's all said and done, uh, we're in November now. I don't expect to get that footage and that, that video, almost like a movie, more like a trailer, probably till close to March or April of 2024. Oh, that long. Huh? Yeah. It's going to take them a minute to put it all together from what I understand. So if we get it sooner, that would be fantastic. But I, I couldn't, 
I'm anxious. I, I can't wait to see it. So you, you brought up the, you know, you love being outside and you love biking and stuff. Is there going to be any type of motorcycling down there? Are you going to, we think? talked about it. Yeah. We talked about finding like a little Vespa or something <laughs> playing around <laughs> out there. I, you know, I heard Guatemala, there's a lot of bikes, small streets, For sure. there's narrow roads. Yeah. Um, I'm not opposed to it. I will say, in fact, we had that discussion. We were talking about the send off after the wedding, how we're going to do that and have maybe a car with a, with a convertible car. And I said, well, you know, maybe we could find a bike. You know, I was just joking, but he was like, Hey, you know, that's a good idea. The Vespa, bro. You know? <laughs> yeah, the Vespa. Hey, two wheels so, is two yeah. wheels, baby. Yeah, you yeah. So but then we got into the topic of, well, April will probably have a wedding dress on, obviously. So it might be a little tough to Yolo, jump on a bro. bike. <laughs> yeah. This is sad, you know, memories. Yeah, I, I told her, you're not going to wear the dress again, so it's okay. <laughs> well, you, you got to think of it, too, bro. How many opportunities are you going to get to be able to ride a bike down in Guatemala, dude? Not very many. Married. Not very many. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... I mean, sure, we may go visit again, but it, it, far and few between, right? So, yeah, valid point. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's exciting, man. I, I kind of, this week, you know, we got Brett leaving for his uh, wedding. We got Alex, you know, in Vegas holding it down. Mm -hmm. uh, I got my boy Clay Dogs in Trinidad. Uh, oh, Clay's in Trinidad. Yeah, bro. Everybody oh. just uh, is on a world tour, man, except me. Trying to go to Galveston, bro? <laughs> I'm, <tomorrow>. yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'll take anything. Boys can't take me nowhere, bro. They're just fucking leaving. <laughs> hey, we might have to put a little mm. infamous trip together one of these days soon. Oh, no doubt. Fun, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, you, you ski? You know, you know, snow ski. Yeah, yeah. I know how to snow ski, water ski. You know, right. anything that's uh, like you said is outdoors. Action. And it, yes. Yeah. yeah. Any, any, any type of action sports like that, I really four wheeling. You know, dirt bike riding, trail riding. I really enjoy. Oh, yeah. You know, I think that'll be fun to 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 put together. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, um, to, today's gonna be pretty pretty quick. We just want to touch base on the giveaway we're gonna do. Definitely, you know, stay tuned to the channel. Um, you got a one in 200 chance, guys, uh, of winning a brand new bike. I can't emphasize that enough because, you know, everywhere else, oh, you, you know, buy merch, you got a one in, in a million chance. This is one out of 200, guys. That's it. Somebody's yeah. going to get this bike. Now, I will, I do want to make a disclaimer. This is a, uh, a U.S. giveaway. Oh, this is a U.S. giveaway. Fit the states yeah. only. The yeah, uh, um, forty eight. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna uh, say overstate. more or less. Yeah, the, your your main. Yeah, no, nobody in Hawaii, Just Alaska. Go to the you know. Yeah. I will say this: if you're in Hawaii, Alaska, and you want to win, you got to handle uh, shipping and everything. <laughs> else. So let's uh, yeah, for the, the the main forty eight states. Uh, that's that's the only catch there, guys. And I do want to uh, chime in that we will be taking care of the you know registration and titling in your name. So this yes. is a zero cost to the winner. They don't pay a, a, a dime. We take care of everything. Yeah. So, you know, keep keep supporting us, guys. I, I can't tell y'all enough how much we appreciate the love and support um, of the merch. You know, I was out the other day uh, at a little bike thing, and I seen some random dude wearing our merch. And, that, I mean, it, it's pretty cool, man. It's a good feeling. It's yeah, a, we, I appreciate that. You know? 110 percent 110 percent man it's such a uh a cool feeling that we're getting the love and support and you know stuff like that and another reason i, I was kind of cutting it short you know i don't know if we got any ufc fans out there yeah. but, uh, <laughs> we were just talking about that earlier we right? got uh, ufc <laughs> 295 <laughs> what you got bro big shout out to yuri prohaska and alex Pereira uh fighting tonight for the vacant lightweight uh championship mm -hmm. brett you watch any ufc at all i do a little bit but i, I i'm not i don't follow it enough to gotcha. even have like a full-blown conversation on that now gotcha you, you you're like a casual yes yes yeah. i'm a casual yeah <laughs> I, I, i'm definitely a hardcore guys uh that's awesome oh dude I, memo I you too you follow it pretty close uh i did my research you know there you go my boy here jd <laughs> hell <laughs> yeah bro UNC for sure. That's what's up. Hey, y'all BSing, bro. I'm trying to get uh, full res to get a UFC podcast going, bro. Ooh. Let me let me hold that down a little yeah. bit. Let us know. Right. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I I, I can learn some stuff. No, oh. but who who you got? Like, who's your favorite? Uh, do you I have mean, a favorite, or you're more like uh? I mean, no, if, I, I, I dude, it's it's so hard. It's almost asking me like, what's your favorite bike? 
You know, uh, everybody. Because I, I, I keep hearing like they're they're both good. Oh, dude, they're both yeah. they're both killers, bro. Yuri Prohaska came over to UFC a couple years ago. He fought uh, overseas uh, a, a lot, the rec shop overseas. Uh, Alex Pereira was Glory Kickboxing two uh, two division champion. He's a monster, dude. I heard he had a strike like a like a good. He's yeah. probably he's probably the best striker in yeah. in the UFC, bro. Oh he, wow! Yeah, he he he's a bad man, and he actually used to fight at 185, which is and he's massive. He there was a picture of him standing next to Tyson Fury, <clears throat> and he wasn't that much smaller, dude. So this guy's and, tall and, at 185. And he was cutting down to 185. He probably walks around at 220. Oh, 225, bro. God. This fight mm. is at 205. This is for the light heavyweight. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. A, a thing. You're talking about the bearded guy is... is... That, the bearded guy is Yuri Prohaska. He okay. lives like a samurai lifestyle, right? He oh, no is way. like... Yeah, I, I, saw his, I saw his video. Oh, for sure, yeah. bro. He is like totally into the martial arts. He is very unconventional striker. He's not your normal, you know. And then you got Alex Pereira, who is... He's like very indigenous people right and from oh, brazil okay. yeah yeah that's uh that's kind of his he'll come out in war paint <laughs> oh oh dude i was just about to ask what's the nationality of the two guys uh brazilian and prohaska if i'm not mistaken i think he's czech i think he's from czech republic oh okay or okay poland okay. poland all right he's uh he's from eastern europe okay uh, okay but he is also I mean, this this is going to be a, a great fight. And there's a difference here too in, in how many times have each fought and experience. Oh, in for be, sure. Between the them. Oh, oh for yeah? sure. Jerry yeah. has like 30 some and then uh Alex has about 11, right? In the UFC, oh, that's a well, UFC. big uh, in, in mixed martial arts. Yeah. You, you got to understand that uh Pereira was glory kickboxing. His background is kickboxing. So Glory is like the biggest kickboxing a promotion it's kind of like the ufc of mma right uh glory is that to uh kickboxing and he was oh, tons of fights dude tons of fights so they're both vets they both there ain't no rookies here dude so if you had to like someone said look you're gonna put money on one who who do you got i'm going Pereira all day every day yeah, strike huh? all right yeah. bet, bet. Yeah, i keep hearing as long as uh a jury doesn't really get a hold of uh but 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 here's the thing uh memo is that i thought the same thing so Pereira la last fight was jan bokovic he's a, a polish guy he's a striker and he's he, he's very good in his ground and pound and he actually got alex down a couple times but alex is wrestling is quick bro it's improved so much like so much, man. I, I I was blown away. So I I, I would I would have thought Yuri would have the advantage of taking him down. But if, dude, if his last fight that guy couldn't keep him down, if Jan Bokovic couldn't keep him down, dude, I don't know. I'm I'm very very excited to uh, to get this fight. And actually, another thing, John Jones was supposed. To, I don't know if y'all know who John Jones is. He is like the goat of mma oh okay yeah okay. he's like hands down never been defeated um technically he lost one fight but that was because of 12 to 6 elbow it was because of disqualification he was whooping that dude wow. but um and then they caught him for a 12 uh 12 to 6 which is a straight down elbow which is illegal in the unified rules of mma for the stupidest reason ever uh back in 1993 well, actually, it, it was after that. It was when they say, start sanctioning the fights. The commission thought that the reason they weren't going to allow 12 to 6 elbows was because, you know, those idiots that sit there and break the ice 12 to 6, like the, uh, they're like, oh, no, that's going to kill them. Eradicate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, and wow. It, but they don't understand if you come this way with an elbow, it's going to hurt. It's going to have a lot more velocity. No, that's an impact right than, there. Than a 12 to 6 elbow. So it's just for those people that break the ice. It, it, it's so stupid. So 9 to 6 elbow is good, but that 12 to 6 is no good. It, it, it's so dumb. <laughs> I but, mean, 9 to 3, not 9 to 6. But, my but, bad. but what I've been uh, hearing is they are going to finally uh, make that uh, illegal. Um, and another thing, uh, Rez, if you can pull up the, uh, the reason I brought up John Jones is he was supposed to fight, uh, Stipe Miocic, which a lot of people consider Stipe Miocic the goat of the heavyweight division. Um, 
But unfortunately, about two weeks ago, that's John Jones. That's, oh, yeah. He's yeah, a big dude. guy. Well, he was light heavyweight. And then he took off three years, put on weight, and moved up to heavyweight. Yeah, so, he's a big old guy. Oh yeah, he's 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 he's, he's tall too. But yeah, dude. Oh god, yeah, he's like six three. Oh my, and he's he's stout. So he's probably what two fifty. Yeah, two forty five, two fifty, easy. Yeah, man. And wow. the heavyweight division is a max of two sixty five. So he don't really oh, okay. cut weight. You know what I mean? So he's uh, he used to cut weight. He used to fight at two hundred five. He was the best two hundred five er ever. Literally murked everybody. Like he's he's he and he comes from an athletic family, bro. He has two brothers. They both play in the NFL. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, there's some big old guys. Yeah. So his, uh, his okay, whole family okay. is got that gene, dude. So the reason I brought him up, he was actually headlining this card at Madison Square Garden. And about 10 days ago, he tore his pec off the bone. Like in a workout his, or yes, what? Yes. He was, he was doing um, some wrestling or some sparring, not sparring, but some wrestling drills. Uh, he he was kind of, um, you know, sparring with somebody, and he pulled that, and it was. It insane. must have been one of those where you're like trying to pull somebody over. It or was do yeah, it, it, it was That's insane, wild. bro. But the UFC, being the UFC, and how badass they are, they actually put uh, Sergey Pavlovich is was the backup fighter for John Jones and Mike uh, Stipe Miocic. They put him, who is a knockout artist who is just a big Russian monster, <laughs> dude, uh, versus Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall is, like, the biggest prospect out of England right now. Uh, Michael Bisbing talks so much about this guy that he is going to be the best. He's going to be even better than John Jones. So they're putting these two guys in the, in, in the co-main event, which I'm just I, – I, I'm, I'm so excited to see that, though. The only reason uh, it's going to be very tough for Tom Aspinall is he's taking his fight like on 15 day notice. Oh, and Sergey's been training. No, because, yeah, I was going to say no prep time really because he was the backup fighter for 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 this. So he knew that hey, if something happens, he's jumping in anyways. Mm. So yeah, man, I'm I'm real excited to. Uh, uh, that's Tom Aspinall to the right. That's John Jones to the left. Okay. Um, Damn. But if you can pull up uh, um, Sergey uh, Palovich, this guy, dude, is just like imagine a, a shaved Russian bear. <laughs> that, God that, that's uh, that's the I'm best way. I'm picturing this in my head. Is he bald uh, too? It, no, he he has short hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he has short, but I, I mean shaved as in no fur. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm but he's just a mm. just a. Big old freaking wide shouldered, big some dude, freaking monster <laughs> power in both hands, pretty much knocked out. You know, is all he of, quick? All of, I mean, he's a heavyweight. Okay, okay, yeah. All oh, of his yeah, fights yeah. have uh, ended in the first round. Uh, he is, dude. He he is he's, like basically, if you let him connect, it's game. Oh, over. if he touches you, you're going to bed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to bed. <laughs> going to you, bed. Yeah, going yeah, bed. yeah. You might as well grab your pillow and your blanket, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, you're going to sleep. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, that's a big. Yeah. What's up? What'd you say his t- height was? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's six four. God. So, oh, these are monsters. So he's got some reach on oh, him bro, too. These are man. monster men, bro. These yeah, ain't. That's uh, wild. Yeah, these, these these ain't no jokes. These are heavyweights, man. And Tom Aspinall, he moves around like it may be a light heavyweight or a middleweight. Oh, that's why Michael Bisping, who was another former uh, UK, he was the first UK champion for the UFC, talks so highly of Tom Aspinall because he's obviously seen him train. They're both from the UK. Okay. And uh, he he just thinks, man, this guy is going to be, you know, champion, no doubt, just a matter of time. Man, you, I can tell you got a passion for UFC. Oh, you talk I, about yeah. that more than bikes. That's yeah, that was yeah. good. I, I could talk I learned about, some stuff. <laughs> I, I could talk about UFC kind of like how I talk about motorcycles. Oof, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's definitely a big passion of mine, and um, you know, I'm so excited for 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 tonight. for these fights. Yeah, yeah, for these fights tonight. And uh, you looking forward for tonight? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm ready to. Uh, Kind of wrap this up and go go the pay per view is yeah. about to start. But dude. today is Saturday, so he's about to go watch. And then you say you got Alex uh, playing it up. So on Monday, this is gonna go live on YouTube. So yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah we're about to find <laughs> out. I know, I know. And 
Oof, man, it's gonna be it's it's too bad. I keep hearing that uh, Pereira is like favorite uh, for some, not for the majority part, maybe sixty forty, right? Oh yeah. wow, yeah, sixty yeah. forty then. Bro. Yeah, it's just Pereira is such a big guy, and and, and I, I didn't mention this. Yuri's coming off an injury, oh, so yeah. he ah. hasn't fought in a while, almost a year. <clears throat> so a kind of similar to the John Jones deal, he was in sparring. And his shoulder came out of place. So his corner guys thought it would be a great idea for them to try to pop it back into place. Not and, such a good idea. And they completely, <laughs> we try that with this guy. <laughs> they completely destroyed this man's shoulder. The UFC doctor said this was the worst shoulder injury they had ever seen in the history of like the Like almost company. career ending? And, oh, dude, they, 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 they said minimum, minimum before he can even move. And get into light sparring was going to be fifteen months. And then he was oh. holding the belt. He's, oh, well, he, he was is champ. holding the belt. Yeah, no, he, champ. he 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 relinquished yeah. his belt because he the the martial artist the martial artist that he is. He said, "I'm not going to hold up the division here. Take the belt. I'm going to get myself right, and then when I get back, I'm going to fight for the belt." Yeah, people thought that he was going to take longer. For sure. Dude, it hasn't they, been a year. It hasn't been like 10 months. Bro, they said it's going to take minimum 15 months. That's wild. Minimum. And minimum. here we are 10 months later, bro. He's yeah. in a fight. I don't want to hold a division. Well, so I mean, you got to think. He probably did PT every single <laughs> oh, day. For sure. I mean, just. He was hungry. For sure. Yeah, he was hungry. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. it's a career. You, I mean, you, what are you going to do? Sit on your butt for yeah. 15? No way, dude. That's, oh, these are elite of yeah. the elite. Uh, With hardcore athletes. trainers. Uh, yeah. Dude. I remember one time about, I don't know, 15 years ago, I was with my wife in Vegas. And, uh, you know, my wife knows how much I love the UFC. And we were in a food court in, a, in one of the uh, casinos. I forgot which one it was. But there, all of a sudden, she's like, what are you looking at? There was uh, uh, Big Nog, who is Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, who is probably the best heavyweight Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu practitioners, you know, he fought in pride. And pride is basically what the UFC is in America. Pride was that in Japan. And he fought there. He was the champ there. Uh, I ran into him and a couple other guys. And my wife, being the MVP that she is, when we went back to the hotel room, she snuck out and got all their autographs for me. No way. Uh, on, on the UFC poster. That is a real MVP I'm wife. Telling Dude, you, that bro. is I'm, awesome. I'm telling you, which which was really cool. Um, That's killer. Yeah, man. I, I, I really like UFC. You know, obviously, y'all know I love uh, motorcycles. These are two of my passions. My, yeah, yeah, man. My, my, my biggest passions, guys. So... Yeah, uh, you know, we're going to pretty much wrap it up, guys. I got I got UFC to go watch, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything you want to touch on, Brett, before we. No, uh, I would just say, uh, you know, guys, we appreciate all the comments. If you've got a suggestion or you want something for us to talk about, Ooh, yeah. leave it in the comments, man. Mm-hmm. Let us uh, let us know what you want to hear, what you want to, you know, from any of us or a certain topic. And then uh, also, if you want to pick up one of the shark helmets, they're on the website, man. We got the shark here right here on the table. Sure. Uh, you can pick up one on the website as well, yeah. infosculture.com. Yeah, and guys, definitely check the website. We're going to be uh, updating how you can there you go, how you can get the keychains um, for your entries to the to the giveaway. You know, definitely check with that. And we have a lot of other big, big, big news we haven't uh, yet. It's We've right. Been, it's somewhere here. It is yeah. somewhere <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, it is somewhere here. It's a different. Uh, you know, um, but we'll leave that for another day. Definitely, yeah. guys, we are going big in 2024. Let me let, let me let me say that uh, we are going big, and we're gonna have a lot of fun, exciting, awesome stuff to bring y'all. Mer- brand new merch, fire fire merch, dude. You see us rocking the hoodies. I love it. Uh, feels good. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rez, you got anything you want to drop, man, before we get up out of yeah, here tonight? Yeah, just make sure you hit that uh, subscribe. Mm, right there, you know, for sure. Comment, you know. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's it, bro. Couple, yeah, a couple new videos. Uh, big shout out to Full Rez, man. He's been killing it with the videos. Dropping, He probably dropped three videos in the last you know, week or two. Oh, yeah. And uh, guys, if you haven't seen them, check out the new videos. The Lambo versus Lambo. Uh, what was 
an awesome video. The pure sound of the Lambo, bro, fire. Yeah, that turned out good. That fire, good. Yeah, bro. That was clean. Good job. Fire. And then probably my favorite video uh, that we've done, believe it or not, is the the new bike day. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was such it's a good... It's crazy because it's a simple video. Bro, it was fire. It's your yeah. favorite it, so far. It, yeah. Well, it was fire. It's just the raw emotions of, of Brett and Alex... You know, uh, really, and the fact that I knew the whole reason we got this bike was to give it away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now that we're letting the viewers know that, man, this can be your bike, you know, and you got a one in 200 chance, guys. Yep. That's it. And so. we'll and be sure to follow us on all the social platforms where we'll announce when this is live and ready to go. So if you're not following on Instagram, make sure you're there subscribe to youtube all that we'll, we'll we'll make an announcement when this is live so facebook um yeah. we got uh, uh brett he's gonna get us only lined fans. up on, on on tiktok yeah um yeah only that fans is coming sure. soon yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh we'll have an only fans content only channel fans. for all the dangerous things we can't put out there on youtube yeah hey <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Infamous yeah. only fans. But yeah, no, we're uh I am gonna start up uh, our channel for uh uh TikTok. We'll post a lot of the stuff that we have here on YouTube as well. Maybe some stuff that's not. So once that's live, we'll put a link for that and you can follow us over there too. And, and the reason we're doing that, guys, is because not everybody has every social media platform. Exactly. A lot of people yeah. have have told us, hey man, you know, I, I don't you know, I don't do Instagram, I don't do you know, a Facebook, but I have TikTok and, you know, and I want to follow you. Or I don't do YouTube. I, I do. Oh, another thing, guys, uh, check out our Spotify channel. Oh, for the podcast. For, yes. Yeah. Yes. For, 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 for this, guys, check us out on Spotify. Listen we, to uh, us on the drive, man. Yeah. While you're at the gym. For sure. You ain't got to look at my ugly face. You can just listen to me, bro. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the goal is to drop this uh, podcast every Monday by 6 a.m. Yeah. So All right. You can, yeah, yeah. You can, That's you know, perfect. Take a listen while you drive to work and or yeah. from work. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, guys, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in this week and uh, definitely check us out next week. We got some more exciting news next week. So check us out. You know, we can uh, circle back and see how everybody's trips went and uh, the latest and greatest news, guys. And who won the UFC? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right.